taking on the Detroit Pistons. Our opening tip won by the Mavericks, and we're underway in Dallas. Porzingis with the slam. I don't think I could do that on the five-foot rim. I can, because that's my only choice. <laughs> Jackson, not that time. Doncic to Porzingis. Had a chance, but it's no good. Luke Kennard slams it down. I see the easy dunk. But what I don't see is energy. Scream. Do something. Get yourself emotionally involved in the game. Nowitzki. Dirk delivers. They've been trying to figure this guy out for 20 years, and it's still not working. I hope everyone here knows the golden rule. Guys, remember, sharing is caring. Chris stops Porzingis. Ah, tips it. Just erasing mistakes left and right. Has a look. Dirk Nowitzki. Two for two. That's what you want. You see, the savvy players, they can create contact. They can throw their arms into you, even their bodies into you. And as soon as the refs blow the whistle once or twice and you become hesitant defensively, they got you right where they want you. Jackson to Drummond. Leaving no doubt. Slams it down. <sighs> that probably won't be the last time we see a dunk from him tonight. Maybe sometimes you should send a message. Give him a hard foul. Don't let it be so easy. Get back, get back, get back. Doncic to Porzingis. Rebound pulled in by the Pistons. To Drummond. A oh, big finish at the rim. And no emotion, just that ice-cold stare. That's a sign of somebody who's here to compete. Let's it fly from beyond the arc. His first effort off the mark. Jackson with it. Down a point. Drummond to Jackson. Screen coming. To Drummond. And look out. Big finish at the rim. You know what I like about this pass play? Instead of putting his head down and forcing the action, he patiently waited for the play to develop. For three, collected by Drummond. Kennard to Drummond. And the rebound taken in by Dallas to Brunson. 4-3. Doncic showing why the Mavs traded up to get him. That shot was nice, but that pass, that was the real highlight. Good teams always find a way to get the best shot available. Jackson to Luke Kennard. To Drummond. And finishes strong. Jay, they've had no answer for this guy. He's been on fire this first quarter. That's the way you take it right to your opponent. You attack right out of the gate. Doncic to Porzingis. KP, Chris stops Porzingis. Two for three now here in the first. Old school equals high percentage. Now the Pistons going to use a timeout as they'll make sure they're aligned here in a two-point ball game. New personnel coming on for Rick Carlisle. Reggie 
Jackson. First couple didn't go. That one is true. <laughs> the okie doke. Let's see if he'll try that one again. Burke with it. Right now, 12 all. Porzingis. Old school. Backs his man down for the basket. You feel that? I see the confidence building. Over to the right side. Chris stops Porzingis. Pins it. Don't stare him down like that afterwards. Trey Burke. Knocks it down from mid-range. Well, they have such great flow to their offense this evening. The ball isn't sticking to one player individually. It's moving around the perimeter, and it's zipping. They're playing with a special cohesiveness. Griffin to Drummond. Flushes it home. And when you get your prescription, you take your medicine, and you call it a day. put it up at the buzzer it's good at the buzzer he got it out well before the red light came on and that extends the lead jay in the first quarter if you own shares of stock in the offenses you'd make a lot of easy money there was no defense to start this one if anything on this game ed you have to expect the unexpected when players have range that extend outside the gymnasium oh we're gonna get a chance to watch something special here comes the screen. Here's Smith. Can't connect. Has to know what's a good shot and what isn't. Hardaway. The rebound's taken by Detroit. To Smith. Curling inside. Smith to the basket, but it stays out. To Hardaway. Add two points to the board. Hand down, man down. You got to get up and contest the shot. Piston's ball here. Is Smith. Nothing going here on that drive. And he buries it. Two points. Take them any way you can get them. Shot clock for the Mavs. Trey Burke. Glenn Robinson sends it away. Both teams tweaking their lineups. Here come some changes. Is Smith. A tough shot. Hand in his face. He makes them pay. A bad pass as the Pistons come away with it. Burke with it. Lead is two. Here comes the screen. To Lee. Short jumper misses. It's easy. Force guys into low percentage shots. That's the reason why we're big into stats. It was all provided to you before the game in the scouting report. To Smith. Just enough of a head fake to help on that one. Uh, I think the defender had absolutely zero chance on that play. To Lee. From long range. He was all over. Won't go down. Work with it. He'll run the offense. Lee to Porzingis. Yes, and the 
foul. And a chance at three coming up. Huh, he should get some kind of acting award. That's a great sell by the offensive player. But guess what? The ref spit, and that's the game. Chris stops Porzingis at the line for a chance at a three-point play. For his career, 80% at the line. Free throws good. A three-point play. And with that, they go up by three. Is Smith to Drummond. He throws it down. He was ready right at the tip. What a first half he's having. He came out, out of the gate, attacked, found ways to get to the rim. Now look how easy the game is coming to him. Out of bounds, last touch by the Pistons. Some lineup changes now for both clubs. Doncic. Screen coming up, screen coming, screen coming. To Smith. Detroit with four to shoot. Smith. Porzingis with the rebound. Harris with it. Under a minute to go before halftime. To Porzingis. Swings it. Here comes the screen. To Nowitzki. Shot clock's at five. Down to four. Doesn't have the touch. No good. The most important thing a shooter can do is continue to shoot. The defense is always going to give great effort, but it's more of your psyche that goes into the next shot that will limit you on whether you make the shot or not. Count the basket at the rim. That boy's living his best life. Nice pace. Sets it up and slams it down. It's so amazing when you get a chance to see a player in his own space. It's almost as if the defense doesn't exist. He can go left, he can go right, he can attack. He's playing on that court by himself. That misses with two seconds to go. So a tie one as we reach the break in a one-point game. Let's get you to Orlando where we say hello. A lot of intrigue to come in this second half. A one-point game as we resume play here in the third quarter. Here's a chance from long range, and the rebound comes down to Dallas. To Nowitzki. Porzingis. Going to launch beyond the arc. Brunson forced that one. Well defended. Smith, he's 3 of 5, 60% shooting from the field. Probably option 3 right there in the court, but every player is a threat. No excuse for that easy bucket. Here comes the screen. Porzingis, it's good. Coach wants to see more from his D. I know he's a volume shooter. I know defensively at times you have to take your lumps. Might be time to adjust the scouting report, though. Start denying him the ball. Ish Smith to Griffin. Kristaps Porzingis with a piece. That's his third block this evening. That kid can block out the sun, Ed. To Brunson. Beyond the arc for three. They have to keep him in their grasp. And if you're on D right now, if you're off on the weak side, stunt towards the driver. That means fake at him. Don't overcommit. Stunt, then get back to your stay at home. Force him to make one of those passes or force him to take a crazy shot at the rim. Griffin to Drummond. Had a good look there, but it's no good. To Porzingis. Trying to cash in. Deep two there, won't go. 
I just love where this takes you into the psychological battle. Oh, oh, oh. It's blocked. You see, that's why you never give up on the play, Ed. You always stay in the game. Reminiscent of LeBron on Iguodala. Nowitzki to Hardaway. Has a chance. The shot almost. Your contest was great because of your proximity to the player. You forced his follow-through to be cut short, which made him short on the shot. How you practice leads to that nice pump fake. Okay, look, not everything is going to make it into the scouting report. Ball. I got ball. Brunson to Hardaway. Here comes the screen. Big screen right there, big screen. Hardaway. Tim Hardaway Jr. Consistent effort. He's at 50%. You live by the three, you die by the three. And guess what? They're living large right now. Ish Smith to Griffin. From the painted area, won't go down. To Luka Doncic. Fires the three. Not that time. He missed it. To Griffin. Whoa! What a finish! Jay, let's see if that's a sign for him. Well, he's been pretty much non-existent the first three quarters, but when you have a play like that, that can get the juices going, and that can help you with your offensive rhythm. Curling inside. Here comes the screen. Porzingis for two. The screen sets him up for two. Oh, man, you're not supposed to be able to do that with that size. But in today's game, dexterity and mobility are off the charts for bids. things up hockey line substitutions both teams making changes Jackson to Griffin right time right player can't teach height Reggie Jackson two or four now two points take them any way you can get them Brunson to Hardaway. Let's it fly from long range. That out of his range and no good. Jackson with it. His guys find themselves trailing by a bucket. To Drummond. Oh, nice find for the basket. This may sound cheesy, but sometimes you just need to sit back Get a tub of popcorn and just enjoy the show because that's what you're watching right now. Brunson to Hardaway. Here comes the screen. Nothing going here on that drive. Burke shot off the mark. Let's be realistic. He's probably not going to miss a lot of shots. But the more effort you can give, you want to try to tire him out. Take his legs away. Make him work to catch the ball. That's how you win a defensive battle. Burke with it. His guy's down three to Hardaway. Screen coming. Hardaway. Watch cutter, watch cutter, watch cutter. Trey Burke drains it. Well, the defense has been good, but the shot-making ability has been better. And sometimes for NBA players at this level, the more you're in their face, the more it helps them center their focus on the target, which is making the shot. I know it sounds weird, but trust me, it's a real thing. A shot at the buzzer. Three quarters down. 
Scoreboard says it's all even. Dallas with the basketballs. We begin the fourth quarter, and this game's been everything we could have hoped for. All tied up after three. This is what happens when you have winners on both sides. People who are not willing to give up and will continue to scrape and claw to get themselves in the position to win this ballgame. Trey Burke. And he's fouled. Very close. Free throws coming up. Great job, Ed, by the shooter to create contact after the jump. That's how you get to the free throw line. One counter. Number six. Number eleven. Can't connect on the second, and he splits the pair. To Smith. I got this. To Hardaway. Fires the three. Won't go down. Drummond to Smith. Ish Smith. He's now four for six. Well, we got a chance to firsthand watch something be created. I think we just watched an epidemic of passing. I've never seen something like this before. It was so contagious, everybody started to do it, and it ultimately led to the other team's demise. If that's an epidemic, sign me up. Porzingis. Stops Porzingis at the line for two shots. Hasn't missed yet. First free throw is good. No good on the second. It's a one of two trip. Tough looking shot there. Still gets it to go down. Strong finish. That's what you need, regardless of contact, focusing on the rim. He's too good to leave that wide open. Defense has to communicate. Look, I get it. I've been one of the players who have had these mishaps happen to defensively. There is no worse feeling than the next day in film session watching yourself roam on the island by yourself. Somebody in this particular moment needs to tell you to get your head out of you-know-what to get back in the game. To Drummond. Won't go down. Defender's lucky he wasn't called. Chris stops Porzingis. Rejects it. Ooh, five now. This game is all about playing mind tricks on people. The offense is more worried about getting their shot blocked than they are about actually making the shot. To Luka Doncic. Rebound taken by Maker. Shot in the lane, won't go. Yo, big kudos to the defender. It seems like his mere presence in the paint was enough to make the offensive player miss the shot before he even got off the ground. Count the two for KP at the rim. Whistle stops play, and we'll get a timeout here for Detroit. That's their first. Leaves them with one remaining the rest of the way. I think everyone in this building knows it's going to come down to the last two minutes. This game is going to be won with who decides to really show up on the defensive end of the ball. Changes coming from both sides right now. Jackson. Oh, knocks it down from three. And in today's game, you have to make shots like that. Nice work draining it from deep. To Porzingis. Let's it fly from beyond the arc. And KP with the three. And watching all these great shooters on the floor at once, it almost mesmerizes me. It's like you're watching this shot in slow motion. The backspin, it gives off the feel that the ball's going in every time. Here comes the screen. Kennard. Oh, good defense there as the Mavs take it away. 
From a guy who's been there before, tomorrow morning you'll wake up and you would have wished this was a bad dream. But in reality, all you can do is knock the cobwebs off and let it fuel you for tomorrow. Porzingis to Nowitzki. Perfect feed to set up the basket. Well, the shooting has been spectacular, but one of the things that I've seen as the difference maker in this ballgame is how they are catching the basketball. They're not establishing a pivot foot, which leaves the defense wondering which way you can drive, but when that shot is working like that, you got it any way you want it. Goes to the left side to Luka Doncic. Finishes the abuse at the rim for Blake Griffin. Used to hear all these coaches talk about, we need players to run the floor. No, I don't need you to run the floor. I need you to run the floor with purpose. Those are two different things. When you run the floor in attack mode, that's when plays like this occur. Porzingis. To Luka Doncic. For three, buries it on the catch and shoot. And here's the setup, Ed, down the stretch. From a player who's been in these type of positions, eventually I'm going to hit you with a head fake, and you're going to have to jump considering I just made the last couple of threes. And that's when I find an easy way to get to the rim or force the defense to collapse to kick out for, guess what, another one. Griffin strong to the hoop, but a shot stays out to Hardaway. 4-3. It's in the jeans. Tim Hardaway Jr. Hand in his face. Hits the tough three. Now the Pistons going to use a timeout. It's their second and final one of the last three minutes. They cannot stop the clock again. Substitution being made in this one. From long range, that one off the mark. It's no good. And big-time coaching strategy by the staff right there, utilizing their bench, keeping fresh legs on that shooter consistently throughout the course of the game. Burke with it. Leads three. Here comes the screen to Porzingis. Nowitzki, that's playing with fire. Dirk Nowitzki knocks down the wide-open J. I know the refs on the court all the time, but it doesn't mean they can see every play. Maybe defensively grab his jersey, step on his toe, do something to kind of change up his pace. Here's a chance from long range. Missed it. Griffin. That misses with three seconds left. The victory to the Mavericks as they take care of business at home. That does it. For my partner, Jay Williams, and our entire crew, I'm Ed Cohen. This has been a presentation of the NBA on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. As we say, so long, everyone.